Want early access to new tutorials? Be sure to hit the join button on my channel to become a member and gain perks such as early access to new videos and one-on-one -on -one support on my Discord. Hey guys, it's Alpha and in today's 5M scripting tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cruise control uh, key press function, which we're going to be adding into the vehicle HUD resource that we made in the previous tutorial. Uh, as of right now, we only have the speedometer working, but we're going to add a, a cruise control and we're also going to update the speedometer to have more functionality in today's tutorial. If you haven't uh, followed the previous tutorial on the speedometer, I recommend going back and completing that one first before doing this one. I'll have a little uh, button in the top right. I don't know what you call those cue card. Not, not really a cue card, but the little, the little information icon in the top right to uh, go to that video if you need to. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to our resources directory and we're going to go to the script that we made last week in the vehicle HUD tutorial. We're going to be going into the client.lua and we're going to be adding code into here today. So the first thing we're going to need to add is another local variable for cruise control. And this is going to be so we can toggle it. So we'll put cruise control toggle. It'll be local uh, cruise. We can just put cruise, that's fine. And it's going to be a Boolean. So we're going to put false to start off with because it's going to default have cruise control turned off, but then we can turn it on later. Um, we're going to be editing this and adding some new functionality to it in a second, but we're going to make another uh, subroutine first to notify. We have made this in a previous tutorial, but we're just going to make it again. If you have the code from the other script that we made in a previous tutorial, you can just copy and paste it. It's exactly the same but we're just going to retype it. So it's function notifier and then the parameter is message. And then we're going to do set text component format and then string in all caps. And then on the next line, we're going to do add text component string. Then we're going to do message which is the parameter up here. Then we're going to do display help text from string label. And then we're going to do zero, zero, one, minus one. And then we're going to end the function. So that's exactly the same as we made in a previous tutorial. Don't know how many tutorials ago it was, but that's something we learned before. Um, we're also going to update this subroutine. So we're going to actually add more parameters. So we're going to do comma. We're going to do X, Y, R, G, and B. X and Y is the location on the screen. So obviously X and Y, the coordinates, draw text. And then RGB is going to be the color because we're going to have it so you can change the color of the text. So we're actually going to add a new line in this function as well. It'll be set text color. And it's the English spelling with a U uh, for color. And then in brackets, we're going to do R, G, B, and then 255 because it's RGBA. It's got alpha, which is the opacity. We just want it to be fully opaque. So we're going to do 255. And then uh, once we've done that, we've actually done all we need to do to edit the show text function. So now we're actually going to add in some functionality into the thread. So we're actually going to get rid of speedometer in this comment because there's going to be multiple things, not just the speedometer in this thread. And what we're going to do inside of this if statement, is we're going to do this part as the speedometer like so and then below that we'll do uh, cruise control what i'm going to do is um yeah we'll have that section there we're actually going to update the speedometer and we're going to add some more functionality to it so what we're going to do is these show text we're going to need to pass more more um parameters arguments to them so what we're going to do is we're going to do x and y so 0 0.02 this is exactly what we've got here and then we're going to change this to x and y so we're going to do 0 0.02 0 0.70 and then we're going to actually change these to x and y like so and then we're going to pass rgb so what i'm going to do is if the speed's zero i'm going to make it so it's a bit gray so i'm going to do like 155 one five five one five five the maximum you could do for each of these colors is two five five so it's like middle ground for one five five uh, so that's all we need to do for that one and what you need to do it here as well anytime that we're calling this show text we're going to need to specify these so it's 0 0.02 0 0.70 0 
And then for this one, I'm just going to do 255, 255, 255. Because this is just normal when they're driving. I'm just going to display it as white, which is, you know, 255 on all. What else we're going to do? We're actually going to add an else if in the middle of this if statement. Right here. And it's going to be else if speed is more than or equal to 100. So if they're going really fast, over 100 miles an hour, then it will do this. But it will actually make the text a different color to let them know that they're going exceedingly fast. So all I'm going to do is change it to red. So I'm going to do about 200 and then change these ones to zero, which is pretty much no color, black. But then it's only red, R, G, B, red, green, blue. So I'm going to make it a bit red, not, not too bright red, fully 255, but 200 is enough. So that's all we're going to do to upgrade, upgrade the speedometer today. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to work on the cruise control now. So first we're going to do a key press. So we're going to do if is control just pressed. We could do just released, but I want it to activate as soon as they press the key, not release the key. And we're going to do one and then two, four, six. 246 is uh, the Y button on your keyboard. Uh, if you want it to change it to a different uh, key binding, you can. You can just go to the 5M natives to look at the controls, but I'm going to do 246 because most roleplay servers and just any 5M servers use Y as the cruise control. So I'm going to leave it as that. And then we're going to do a nested if statement inside of this one. If cruise equals equals false, you need to do two equals on this. Then what this is doing is checking if cruise control is turned off. And if it is, then it will turn it on. And then we're going to need to do an else if cruise equals true. Then turn it off. What that's doing is checking if it's off, turn it on. If it's on, turn it off. And then we'll end. There we go. And then what we're going to do inside of this first one, the if is we're going to do local current speed equals and then in brackets we're going to do get entity speed open bracket get vehicle head is in open bracket get player head lots of open brackets i know <laughs> and then open bracket minus one and then comma false outside of the first sets of brackets and then leave three closed brackets just here what this is doing is gets the current speed that line and what we'll do below that is set vehicle max speed then an open bracket get vehicle head is in just like before open bracket get player head open bracket minus one and then outside of that one do comma false just like before and then outside of this one this next one we're going to do comma 0.0 or not 0, 0.0 sorry current speed which is the variable we just got in the line above current speed so that's setting the max speed of the vehicle to the current speed that they're doing so if they're doing 50 miles an hour and then they turn on cruise control their max speed will be 50 miles an hour but then they can just hold down on the accelerator and they can't exceed 50 miles an hour. And then we're also, oh, there we go. And then we're also going to notify the rover that they've turned on cruise control. That's why we did the function up here to notify them. We're going to notify cruise speed set. And then outside of the speech marks, we're going to do two dots to concat current speed multiplied by miles per hour dot dot and then speech marks miles per hour just like so cruise speed set and it will show their current speed and then miles per hour so if they're doing 60 it will say cruise speed set 60 miles an hour and then that's all we need to do inside of that if statement and then inside of this one the else if we're going to do the same thing as just here so we can actually grab this set vehicle max speed and what we're going to do instead of current speed is we're going to do 0, 0.0, which is actually just resetting the max speed. If you do it as a, if you do it as zero or a negative. So 
but this is if they turn off cruise control just reset their max speed to what they normally do then we could do notify cruise control deactivated like so and that's actually all we need so i'm just going to add a few more um comments just so you know what everything does you can add these in if you want you don't have to like so like so Boom. i'm just going to add some here So there we go. So that's actually all we need to update today. We're going to need to do an end though for this if down here. Just need to add an end at the end just there on line 54 if you've got it exactly the same as me. And that's actually everything we're going to need to do. So we can save it and then close out of that and then actually start up the server. We don't need to start it in the server.cfg because it's the same resource that we made in last week's tutorial. So actually you could just start up the server and jump into 5M. Okay, so now that we're in, we're not on a very good road to test out the vehicle uh, functionality but we'll just spawn in a car and we'll drive up to the road so as you can see let me turn off the music so as you can see the speedometer number the zero is actually a bit gray but then when we start driving it turns white and then if we can get to 100 we might have to go into the road up here but when we get to 100 that white text should go red so we'll just start driving very fast So here we go. There we go. As soon as it hits 100, it goes to red, red, uh, red color to show that we're going too fast. As soon as we go a bit slower, we'll go back to white. What else we can do is when we're driving, let's say we go about around 50. If we press Y, there we go. It's it's in the top left. Cruise speed set, um, and it's got the speed. And it, as you can see in the top left, in the bottom left, sorry, we can't exceed 56 miles an hour. As soon as we press Y again, it will disable it, and we can actually go much faster. Um, it doesn't lock you at that speed, so let's say I turn it on now. I can actually go below that speed, but then I'll never be able to exceed that speed until I disable it. So as you can see, it shouldn't let me go above 84. Yep. As soon as I disable it, I can exceed it. That's all for today. If it's uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment uh, saying what else you'd like me to do in the future. I'm probably going to add more functionality to the vehicle uh, vehicle HUD script. I'm not sure if that will be in next week's tutorial or if it will be a, a while before I add anything else to it. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to add more to it. If you're having issues or would just like to join and interact with me further, you can join my Discord, which is linked in the description. I've got a dedicated Discord just to 5M support. Uh, you can join that and you can interact with me there. I'm also uh, creating my own 5M roleplay server. If you'd like to join that, I'll have that linked in the description as well. Um, that's not for 5M support though, so if you're just looking for 5M support, join the the, uh, the Discord designed for that. But if you do want to join my server, be sure to check it out in the description. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.